Since the release of its first season back in September of 2013, it didn't take long for The Blacklist to become one of the most celebrated crime dramas in the history of NBC. And with its titular cast of characters coupled with some rather impressive writing, this was really no surprise. But what do we actually know about the actors behind our favorite characters and the love lives they keep? For all this and more, stay tuned. Firstly, let's talk about Megan Boone and her fantastic portrayal of Elizabeth Keene. Although she said goodbye to Red and friends at the end of season 8, Megan Boone continues to be one of the best characters to ever surface from the world of the Blacklist. And while she might be gone, there's no doubt that her presence is still shaking things up in season 9. In fact, she is the reason Reddington decided to return in the first place. But we're not here to talk about just how much love we have for Elizabeth Keene. It's Megan Boone that has the spotlight right now, which is great considering how she has her 39th birthday coming up. For those of you who don't know, Boone was born in the small town of Petoskey, Michigan on the 29th of April, 1983. And while she had dreams of being an actress from a young age, it took her quite some time to solidify a place for herself in Hollywood. Other than portraying the hard as nails Elizabeth Keene on the blacklist, Boone featured in a couple of popular franchises ranging from Law & Order LA to Blue Bloods. Suffice to say, she's always had a knack for crime dramas. But stepping somewhat out of her comfort zone when appearing in titles like My Bloody Valentine 3, 3D and Step Up Revolution, Megan Boone is currently in a loving relationship with an artist and production designer by the name of Dan Estabrook. The couple got married back in 2016 with their daughter Caroline being born a short while later. Next up is James Spader, who is no doubt best known for his role as Raymond Reddington. The man has been the face of the blacklist since it arrived in 2013 and still continues to lead the show with the same amount of vigor and sarcasm that we've grown accustomed to over the years. But at the at the age of 62, James Spader is known for a lot more than his portrayal of Raymond Reddington. He was born in Boston, Massachusetts on the 7th of February, 1960, and quickly found himself falling in love with the profession of acting. And while his parents said that he would no doubt grow out of it with time, his passion for the craft only grew as he got older. This resulted in him securing a spot in some of the most popular franchises in the history of television. Fans of Boston Legal will likely recognize him as Alan Shore. While MCU fans may recognize his sultry voice as being that of Ultron in Avengers Age of Ultron. Although not currently married, Spader tied the knot with his ex-wife Victoria in 1987. But after some troubled times, the couple went on to call it quits in 2004. When asked whether he regrets jumping into marriage so quickly, he responded by saying that he regrets nothing. Especially since his three beautiful children were born from his marriage with Victoria. According to reports, he's currently dating American model, Leslie Stoffensen. And while the two may never marry because of Spader's past, they're incredibly happy together. And who could forget Diego Klattenhoff as Donald Ressler? The Canadian-born actor has been a staple of the franchise for the past couple of years, and his character, Donald Ressler, has quickly become a fan favorite. But it might surprise you to hear that in spite of Klattenhoff's natural talent behind the camera, things didn't always come easy to him. He was born in French River, Canada on the 30th of November, 1979 making him just 42 years old at the moment. But before he hit it big in Hollywood, he spent the majority of his youth toiling as a bartender with the intention of waiting for his big break. Luckily for him, though, it wasn't too far off. Showtime quickly picked him up for the spot of Mike Faber in the critically acclaimed show Homeland, which actually served Klattenhoff well by getting the attention of the showrunners of The Blacklist. You might have also seen him in titles like Lavender and Radius, both of which were received quite well. Unlike his character on the show, not much is known about Diego Klattenhoff's personal life. He has stated on many occasions that he prefers to keep his love life behind closed doors in an attempt to retain at least some level of privacy. We do know that he is married in real life, and that his marriage has given rise to one child. But other than that, things are as mysterious as they come. It sounds like Klattenhoff is pretty happy though, and that's all that really matters. Another impressive cast member is Hisham Tafik as Dembe Zuma. For those of you who don't know, Tafik was born in New York City a grand total of 51 years ago, and since his birthday is on the 17th of May, he'll be 52 years old in no time. Quite a surprise considering just how young he looks. Like Klattenhoff, Tafik's journey into acting was a pretty unique one. When he was a lot younger, he had dreamed
dreams of playing professional football. But after an injury left him paralyzed for a short while, he decided to change his life for the better. Rather than seeking out further concussions, he enrolled in a dance school where he became quite proficient in African and modern styles. This resulted in him touring Europe with a dance company a few years later, showing just how brilliant he had become. He then made another change by enrolling with the Marines. According to reports, he fought alongside his brothers throughout the duration of Desert Storm. And when he came back, he tried his hand at acting. Good thing, too, is after showing off his skills in titles like Dead Man Down, he quickly solidified himself a place on the blacklist. As far as his love life is concerned, Hisham is a lucky man. He married his wife, Spirit, in July of 2016 after meeting her through community leadership and social justice events. And although the couple have no children together, they live a full and prosperous life together. Now that is quite the journey. Next up is Ryan Eggold as Tom Keen, who's become rather famous in recent times. The American actor was born in Lakewood, California on August 10, 1984, which makes him just 37 years old right now. With dreams of becoming an actor from a young age, he quickly made a name for himself with shows like United States of Terra and titles like Besides Still Waters. But it was truly his appearance as Tom Keen in The Blacklist that launched his career to new heights. In fact, this is no longer considered to be his most famous role, with Ryan Eggold currently leading the cast of New Amsterdam as Dr. Max Goodwin. According to reports, Eggold has always been an old soul though and prefers to keep to himself as often as possible. In other words, not much is really known about his personal life other than the fact that ladies can't seem to resist him. As of right now, he appears to be single, but whether this is actually true is a question that doesn't seem to have an answer. His most famous relationship was with actress Ashley Green, who was best known for bringing the character of Alice Cullen to life in the Twilight franchise. And believe it or not, but he has also been linked to the Blacklist co-star Megan Boone in the past, as well as the Today Show correspondent Jill Martin. Eggold has admitted to not being great in the love department, but we'll see what his future holds. For now, he's single and ready to mingle, though. Last but not least, we have Harry Lennox as Harold Cooper, a man who needs no introduction at all. Born on the 16th of November, 1964, Lennox is currently 57 years of age and has been present in Hollywood for a couple of decades already. Although his best-known role is that of Harold Cooper in The Blacklist, there are quite a few movies that Lennox has had supporting roles in over the last few years. These include his time as a rebellion leader in The Matrix Reloaded, Loaded, as well as his portrayal of the superhero known as Martian Manhunter in Zack Snyder's Justice League. Acting isn't the only thing he's good at though. According to reports, he had no trouble sweeping his wife off her feet when they met a couple of years back. He and DeJenna Nicole Graves have been married since 2009 and currently live together in Chicago, Illinois. The couple have no plans to have children as of right now, but knowing Lennox, he and Graves only need one another. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about the real ages and love lives of your favorite The Blacklist cast members. Who are you most surprised by? And what are your expectations for the rest of season 9? Be sure to let us know in the comment section down below.